Come on, Roach. Come on now. Go! Not so fast, Roach.
be gone. Reapers the only Whoa there, Roach. What did this man do to you? Him? Nothing. Appeared in the village. Looking to trade his ring for some bread. But we've no food. None. Because of the black ones. Trampled our fields, raided our granaries, burnt our orchards. So instead of bread, he'll get a noose. Please, good folk, do you not have ears? I did not want this war. I have deserted to go home to my wife and child. Take everything I have, but spare my life. Let him go. Oh, sure. And maybe give him some fixings for the journey. Saddle up a horse for him. Black one showed us no mercy. We show them none in return. Tried it the nice way. Gotta try something different. Get the Witcher! He's made ah, black ones! Thank you. If you had not come... If I'd not come, only one man would have died. Really going back to your wife? Yes. She bore a child just before the war started. A girl. I named her Beatrice, after her grandmother. Why? Why did you help me? Lynch mobs. Nothing good ever comes of them. Now go. Stay off the high roads and give any villages a wide berth until you cross the Aruga. Pop your memory! 
at it. Run, Roach. Simple folk, we seek no quarrels. You ain't safe unless you got a Gabrielle. The auto crank one handed Gabrielle ensures you get the first shot and the last word. Let me have a look at your stock. And we're forever getting tossed at the tavern. An amulet, a bazaar, some tortoise shells. What else you have on offer? Corpse teeth and kidney stones. Tried remedies for trying times.
So long. Should send him back to the witch. Might cure him of laziness. Greetings, ma'am. Good day to you, sir. Need something? Got a matter for your village witch. Know where I can find her? I didn't bother with her myself. But ask my man. He'll know. Twerked his back so bad last week he could hardly move. So I sent him to the witch. Came back sprightly as a foal. Where is he? In the yard, no doubt. Pain's gone, but sleuth's set in now. Should be hunting foxberries to feed our young uns. Marion's lad. Now that man, he knows how to provide for his family. Got some water rats last. They had food for days. Making me a slingshot. Gonna hunt bears. Damn sick. Good day. Heard you know where to find the local witch. Who told you that? Your wife. Daft wench. Leave me be and don't listen to that nattering sow. We've not had a witch, shaman, nor cunning wench in ages. Would a few crowns refresh your memory? Oh, well, if that's how you put it. Know the small pond near the village? Path leads off from it. Follow that till you come across a lone rock. Walk around that, then to the woods. Find the old cart. You're there. Thanks. It's just... Don't harm her, sir. Word of your kind's reached these paths. My kind, meaning? Well, the witch-burning kind. Witch hunters have been here already? Nay, but we've heard tell of them. So, when I spied you coming, swords and all, straight away, I thought tales must be true. I'm a witcher, not a witch hunter. Hmm? What? Not one and the same? No. No need to worry. I'm not out to hurt your witch. Ooh, a weight off me heart, sir. She only arrived a short while ago, but she's frightfully wise. Even pleasant on the eyes. I feel like I'm skinny. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Down near the pond. There's the boulder. Now right, and on to the cart. from the barn floor. Pus streams from her snout. Do I look like a dairy maid to you? No, miss, but you know things. Tis our last cow. None other left in the village. Rest died of hunger. Or soldiers <laughs> let him off. Oh, we're as good as dead without her. I shall give you herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn, thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. A thousand thanks. Enough. I've had my fill for the day. Go home. She's in a foul mood. We'd best come back on home. I went home. Ordinary ointment. Nothing special. she run off to? Hmm. 
Managed to amass quite a book collection. And see bubbles like this in Velen. Powerful aura. Must be some artifact or. So this is where she disappeared to. Greetings, Witcher. Mr. Spot. Where? Hope you didn't come to court. No. To talk. Turn around and wait. Deep in the heart of Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Never would have guessed it was King Fultest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. Hmm, someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. Now tell me what brings you here. Any news of your sisters from the Lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer. Or who might be listening. So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime, pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end, burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. Changing the subject. 
I'm looking for a certain young woman. Oh, really? Who? I'm looking for Siri. That Siri. And no one can know, understand? Cyrilla is here. The girl once sought by the Lodge of Sorceresses, and practically every ruler on the continent has landed here in Velen, and I know nothing of it. What is she doing here? Indications are she's hiding from someone. I heard she quarreled with a witch, but if you don't know anything... Sure you haven't seen her? I'm certain I haven't. But recently, someone asked me about an ashen-haired woman. He claimed she would stand out from the peasant crowd. Who was it? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea. No offering for the witch. What's your rate these days? A couple dozen eggs? Three hens, maybe? My rate rises with every word you speak. I'm not sure you can afford the information anymore. Mm, you're pricklier than I remembered. Isn't living in nature's lap supposed to be cleansing, calming? Nature stinks. Oh, sod it. Don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. It was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. No flea-bitten Scoia'tael slob either, but an elven mage. He say what his name was? He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I liked him. He was intelligent and composed. He say what he wanted with Siri? Only that they were to meet in Velen. He wished to know if she'd arrived before he did. He leave any message for her? No, but he asked that were I to meet her, I should lead her to him. So you know where to find him? Yes, he said he found a hideout in some elven ruins near the village of Midpops. I'll go there with you. Why? Think I'll have trouble finding this place? I've unfinished business with this elf. He promised me something, but he never delivered it. Besides, I know you think as I do, that she might be there. And I'd like to see Cyrilla too. Let's go then. Yes, let's. <laughs>